in June 1977. A 10-minute video for internal use was screened at a meeting of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee. It showed the dire state of poverty in rural Anhui province. The meeting decided that an able official should be dispatched to improve the situation. Wan Li was chosen and appointed first secretary of the Anhui Provincial CPC Committee. The following summer, Anhui was ravaged by drought. As an emergency measure, the Provincial Party Committee decided to allow farmers to borrow land to try and grow more wheat. Feixi County was among the hardest hit areas. Its summer grain production was significantly down and the yield was virtually nil in autumn. The district committee convened a meeting to discuss how to survive the famine. 23 party members unanimously agreed to lend land to the local farmers with responsibility for what was produced from it contracted to individual households. <laughs> Xiaogang village in Anhui province's Fengyang County was once known for its reliance on public grain, financial aid, and production materials purchased with loans. Things were very different after the 18 farmers launched their contracting initiative. From what they managed to grow, they were able to hand over their quota, save some for the collective, and keep anything that was left for themselves. Finally, they were reaping the sort of harvest they dreamed of. Xiaogang's grain output increased fourfold in the course of a year. Individual incomes increased 16 times from 22 yuan per capita to 350 yuan. Across the country, various other forms of agricultural production responsibility system were being introduced. In Shandong, Sichuan, Inner Mongolia, Gansu, Henan, Guizhou, and other places, individual villages adopted new approaches to cooperative farming, from team-based and household-based contracting to output-based remuneration. At the heart of any rural reform is the land. In China, there was a mix of public and collective ownership. This gave rise to a contract responsibility system based on joint production, which featured a farmer's production responsibility component. It incentivized the farmers and stimulated the rural areas. It also boosted production and brought profound change to rural China. <laughs> 